Yo, 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 YouTube. It's time for a mail day video. I haven't done one of these in a little while, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, not a ton. I haven't been buying a whole lot. I haven't gotten any real big lots per se. Um, I guess I'll leave that for you to determine once you see this video what can construes a big lot and what doesn't. But uh, I do have some stuff that's uh, on its way too. So we'll be doing another mail day in a, in a shorter time frame than the last one. But anyway, we do have a few things in here. So let's take a look. So we'll start with these small packages first, envelopes and such. And of course, just like previous videos these are all open just because I hold them for a while I want to make sure everything's okay and correct in the shipment so I don't hold it for a week and then I've got the wrong card or it's damaged or something like that so get this uh let me get back to regular size here okay I got this uh measures of greatness tops chrome refractor Got this pretty cheap, it says refractor up there. Got this pretty cheap considering how these have gone. And I always try to have some refractors and some higher end stuff in my, in the store at all times. It does attract buyers and uh, there's money to be made. So, you know, good enough reason for me. All right, next. So that's not a PC card or anything like that. This one is a PC card. These are actually pretty hard to find. So these are pinnacle points, and they come in a few different versions. I think there's a, a 20 as well. But anyway, there's a 1, a 5, a 10, and I think there's a 20. I'm, I have to double check on that. But the 10 is obviously the, one of the harder ones to get. It's from 98 Pinnacle. And I didn't have one. I, I found this for a pretty good price. I thought, oh, this is so tad off-centered, but uh, it's kind of a little gimmicky little gimmicky insert card so that one is going to go to the PC and then we got this here all right so this is obviously a lot which I'm glad I got another snap box I had I only had a couple left and I just had to use one this week for a bigger purchase. Let me see. It looks like that's taped. I didn't realize that. Let me grab my scissors here. Looks like the box is taped right here. So one thing I've really been focusing on is I want more vintage. So this is a, a vintage lot here. I've bought a couple other ones recently that aren't here yet. So We'll be seeing more of that. But this one was a good deal considering the players in it. So you got good old Johnny Unitas. This is this is the star of the lot here. But uh, Joe O'Donnell, Greg Landry, Jim Johnson. These are a lot of these are Hall of Famers. George Blanda, Howard Kindig, Alexis Karras, uh, Larry Zonka, uh, Jim Hart. Yeah, these are all names that, that sell. So, Claude Humphrey, Roy Hilton, Larry Grantham, Lamar Parrish, Bruce Taylor, Bob Lertzima, Steve Chomisak, Chomisak, Mark Mosley, and Tom Matt. These are from 1971. 1971. So, definitely vintage. They're not in perfect shape. But good names, good price. Um, these will, these will do well. These will do well. So, looking for more of this type of thing. I've had a hard time recently shopping on eBay, which is where I buy most of my cards, especially lots. And uh, they had something wrong, I think, with their search tools because when I would search for different lots, everything would be like shipped from Canada, shipped from Canada. <laughs> my searches I kind of want to keep these out of here I think they're just going to get wrecked in the box but anyway so again they're not in perfect shape or anything like that but that's not really what I'm looking for I'm looking for you know lower end easy to resell 
still good names, still still some value, still collectors for it. I mean, look at that, look at that mugshot there. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm really happy to happy to have those. All right, moving on. This is another little lot, I believe. I don't think this is vintage though. Oh, this is some more Ricky Henderson stuff. I, I'd had some luck recently with some Ricky Henderson. Um, this stuff sells fairly well. It's not super hot like some players, but for the price I can get some lots for, I pick it up here and there. This really cool caricature card, um, franchise from Score, MVP from Score. So just some not super common stuff. Here's a silver script or players, platinum players club or special edition. I don't know, whatever. Um, here's a cool all-star insert. 85. This is a dream team. I always liked that card. I thought it was cool to show off his running physique. Um, Cooperstown. 83 Donruss. Uh, there's a few in here, too, it looks like. Um, 91 Bowman. Oh, yeah, and then the Stolen Base King one. I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. 692. Um, here's another Donruss. Here's a Batting Champion one out of Bowman. And then another one of those Donruss cards. So, I don't know. I just thought they were they were cool. I like the fact that it's a lot of... It's almost all A's cards, I think. Actually, I think it's all in the A's uniform. That's how I remember Ricky Henderson. Back in the early 90s, um, one of the fads was these, like, caricature sports player shirts. Which I know are kind of coming back as a, as a vintage wear. Um, but I had one of, of Ricky running. So, um... When I saw this in the lot, it kind of made me think of that. And I don't know. I just wanted to have them. Even if they don't sell, I don't care. I think they're cool. So that's where that's at. And they are cheap enough. It doesn't really matter. So, okay. Next we have this one is a um, Favre insert. This is called Rap Show. And pretty cool. Pretty cool set. They had a quote from another star player in the league about that player, so that was kind of, they were rapping about each other, if you want to call it that, um, and this is a quote from Barry Sanders, which I thought was cool, they're basically the two best players out of, uh, the 90s, uh, this is from 1998, in 97, they both co-won the MVP, so I thought that was pretty cool too, uh, from Skybox Premium, decent brand, and, uh, got this pretty cheap, as I got it from my buddy down in Madison, who runs the Madison Card Show. And he has a YouTube channel called Hobby Evolution. So you can scan there if you want to check out his YouTube channel. Um, it's 1 million Cubs cards is, uh, is his brand name, if you want to call it that. But um, yeah, pretty cool. So um, that was... That was it was ironic that, because uh, I didn't know it was his card, and then uh, I made an offer on it, and then I noticed it was him, so. Okay, this one's kind of kind of fun and unique. So I collect all these non-sport wax packs, which I do have my wax pack wall done, so I'll do a video of that in the near future, so look for that. So subscribe, like, ring the bell, do all that good stuff, so you can don't miss any of those videos. But this was a pack they did for Pee Wee's Playhouse. Um... The secret word is fun. And uh, they call it a fun pack, which, as you can see, it's much bigger than, like, a normal pack, which I kind of didn't know that ahead of time. But now I sort of like it more because of that. It's just unique. But you get one sheet of tattoos, three picture cards, a sticker, a wiggle toy, and an activity card? Activity card, yeah. So these were made in 1988. Um... One thing I, I like is the seller found a, a kind of a nice way to, to package it, to keep it safe. So uh, I might actually just leave it in this plastic. But yeah, pretty cool. Pee Wee's Playhouse, that show was the bomb when I was a kid. So, pretty cool to have that. Alright, next. Let's see if I can get this out of here. 
All right, so this is just a Brett Favre Superman card. I don't have any left. I've had a ton of these over time, and I've sold a ton of them. So uh, normally I don't buy a single card of something to resell, but I got, again, I got this for a really good deal. I knew I was going to get the top load out of it. And uh, it's just a card that, that sells. I have zero inventory right now of this card, other than I have the uh, Artist Proof, the one with the gold foil background uh, but i didn't have any of the base version so this is a good thing to throw in the store generally if people buy one of these they'll buy something else uh, so i figured it was it was worth it to buy that as a single card especially for um, the price because i will my markup on it will definitely earn me profit on it besides okay so here's another i think this might be a single card too so yeah, it was a lot of single card buying. I haven't, haven't bought a lot of big lots. Bunch of free cards in here. We got Wendell Carter Jr., Mike Conley, Devin Booker, Harrison Barnes, Malcolm Brogdon, Duncan Robinson, and Kyle Lowry. So I'll take a look at those and see if maybe those are worth listing. I saw a lot of free cards. So one of my favorite things to do. And then this was a, a pretty good find. These Low number 90s edge cards are, are tough to come across. This is the, uh, how, I don't know if you can even see this. It's the hollow gold. I don't know if you can read that in the stamp up there, but that's what it says. So it's got this gold sort of shimmer border all the way around the player picture there. Uh, and this is from 1999 Edge. So it's a 90s insert. Um, it's Edge first place. You can see that down there. But these are numbered out of... I don't know if you can, it's kind of hard to read. Let me see if I can take it out of here. The stamping on their cards are kind of tough because it's in a, it's in black. There you go. So it's 47 out of 50. So numbered out of just 50, which was super low for 90s numbering. And uh, I got this for a super good deal. So I've been scoring some, some rare Farf stuff for good prices. Last uh, mail day that I showed, I had the, um, the red, uh, primary colors 99 out of 20 numbered out of 25 um, that I scored for 20 bucks so um, I'm having fun picking up some stuff that was just uh, crazy in price during the boom some of it has has settled a bit all right so let me clean up a little bit of this and then we have a couple more things to show so this is just all the envelopes and all that stuff I want to get this out of the way Okay, then we've got this really cool lot. At least I think it's really cool. Most of you here are obviously into sports cards, so I don't know if this might not be your thing. You can skip past it if it's not. Um, but I, my wax pack wall is done, but I'm still searching for wax I don't have. And I will switch out the pack. As you will see, the way I have them displayed, I can easily swap packs out, too. So I want to do that. Keep the look fresh and just have some different fun packs to go uh, each time. So I actually bought these from Baseball Card Exchange. They do single packs. Uh, for those of you who don't know, they, of course, they authenticate boxes, which is mostly what you hear about. <laughs> authenticate is maybe a stretch right now. <laughs> they, they have, they've had some issues with some boxes that authentications questionable but these are definitely real and sealed uh, and they're not worth enough to, for then anybody to fake but anyway so I've gotten to the point where I just wanted some specific packs buying lots wasn't quite as feasible I was getting a bunch you know it would be a bunch of stuff I'd already had so I went in there and ordered some stuff that uh, that I didn't have that I wanted so I guess we'll just take them one by one but this is Rocky 4 and I think this is 82. Not sure the year. So I'll probably get some of the years wrong on, wrong on some of these. Oh, this is 85. 1985. Space, 1999. These all still have the gum in them. And one of the things I was really impressed with these packs, some of these are pretty hard to find. And uh, one of the things that really impressed me to, to, to give credit to Baseball Card Exchange these all have solid gum in them. None of them have broken pieces of gum, which 
I've been finding more and more with some packs, you know, as they've been laying around for over time and the gum gets bad and packs get crunched around in boxes or whatever, but there's all head solid gum. So I thought that was, that was pretty impressive. Uh, Buck Rogers, this is from seven, 1979. That was a pretty cool show. Trivia battle game. So this was a, you basically got trivia cards out of this. So if you kind of think of like, flashcards or you know like a trivia game you would buy these are from 84 um this was a way to do it by packs so think of like cards against humanity where you can buy like booster packs it's kind of the same thing um from back in the day more towards kids obviously but 1500 questions of trivia it was cheap that was a dollar pack so that's why i picked that up didn't have one so why not again nice solid gum here this is magnum pi i think this is from 80 one don't see a year on here say so some of them don't really the years aren't really displayed here here we go 83 83 up there all right saturday night fever of course with john travolta there alien one of the greatest movies of all time it was this does have broken gum in it but that's okay pack looks nice it's definitely still sealed got the wax mark still on it so um this is from 79 and then one of my all-time favorites when i was a kid rambo nice solid piece of gum in this one so this would be from 85 this one i thought was pretty cool bmx bikes didn't even know they made bmx biking cards kind of want to get some actual loose cards of this just to see what they look like uh, obviously i'm not going to open this but um you got seven photo cards and a stick of gum so pretty small pack for for what it was back in the day so only seven cards dune um this movie's been released in a more modern version in recent times but this was from the of course the original movie um this is from 84 pretty cool Supergirl, of course, this is a, a new show again as well. All this stuff's being redone. Um, this was the from 1984, so the original Super Supergirl TV show, I believe. I don't think that was a movie. And then um, Star Trek Three: uh, Search for Spock, kind of kind of a strange looking pack here, but I liked it. I kind of like the black and white, and it's one of my favorite Star Trek movies, so. Had to have it. And again, wasn't very expensive. But uh, yeah, these are made by Fantasy Trade Card Company. Never heard of them. So, interesting. This is a big one, Return of the Jedi. Any of the, the original Star Wars packs um, are expensive. These have four different characters on the front. And I got the best one. This is the only series of packs that has Leia on the front. <clears throat> she wasn't in the um, Empire Strikes Back or... Um, original Star Wars packs so um, there, there's some there's people that are sought after with the the uh, Leia wrappers but pretty cool and then this one is Mad Magazine remember reading this as a kid again nice full solid gum in there um, five stickers and a stick of gum so this is a like a sticker set a really amazing movie as well as video game Tron full color cards. You get a Tron sticker with tips for the video game. This is from 1981. Eight cards and a sticker. There was no gum in these though. A lot of the sets were starting to go away from the gum. Here's Dallas. Nice solid piece of gum in here. I'm not sure why they made Dallas cards. I guess there was enough demand for them. 1981. These were made. Seven cards and a stick of gum. Another classic, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, a nice solid stick of gum in there, a special sticker inside, and nine movie cards. Baby, I kind of remember this movie. This one does have broken gum in it. I, yeah, it has a broken piece of gum in it, but I got a nice solid wax seal on these. Um, these are 
from 85. So Baby was about like a, it was this puppet dinosaur, baby dinosaur movie. Leave it to Beaver. I thought these were interesting. It was a big show my parents watched when I was a kid. Um, ten cards, no stickers, no um, gum, nothing like that. These are from Pacific Trading Cards. We, we um, Most of us know what who Pacific is. This is, uh, I think, these weren't made like in the 50s when the show was on. These were made later, but I don't see a year. Anyway, I think these were 87, maybe? I don't know. They were definitely later than when the original show was on, but just cool. And it's got, you know, beaver right on the front there. All right, like all-time classic movie. Just celebrating a uh, anniversary this year, E.T., which, of course, stands for extraterrestrial. This one has a nice solid piece of gum in it, so good on it there. Ten cards, a sticker, and a stick of gum. So I, I I like this. I I've never heard this as a way to describe the movie. The extraterrestrial in his adventures on Earth. So the cards are obviously scenes from the movie. Uh, this this should be 1982. I think is when that movie came out. But yeah, 1982. Right down there on the bottom. So pretty cool and iconic there. Original Star Trek film. Um. Pretty cool. It's got Spock and Kirk right on there. Nice solid stick of gum in this one. And this is from 79. So some of these are pretty old. I, they're not as valuable as the sports cards, but I think that will catch up over time. Nice solid piece of gum in here. Knight Rider. Great show. Amazing car. Look at this picture on the front with Hasselhoff and um, Kit, the car. Um, you get eight cards and a stick of gum in this one. And these are 80, these are 1982, 1982. So I don't know. I don't know if you think those are cool or not, but I, I like them and I think they're fun to show off. It's just something a little bit different too. So, so that's all my packs from mail day. Now I have two big boxes that I also got in the mail. So I got to show you what that's all about. I'm actually going to carry you over to this box so we can I can show it off. So this is it right here. And this is not that as exciting. Oops, I get that out of there. Not as exciting as uh, some of the other stuff, but it's a giant box of top all top loads. 1,200 top loads for 80 bucks. So about six cents a piece, which is ideal. That is the right price to pay for... Um, supplies to ship orders out in so I was happy to replenish that I have probably that's my in that case back there I have pro probably a stack of about a thousand or so so it wasn't like I was super running low but found this deal it was a good deal uh, newer seller he was asking 120 I offered him I offered him 80 and I think he took it yeah so uh, yeah, always happy to have supplies. You never want to run out of supplies. So my last big mail day item is this case of 2021 NFL 5. I've been buying a case each year of this product when it get, finally gets down to a clearance amount, if you will. Uh, you get nine cards per pack, 24 packs per box, 12 boxes per case. So you essentially get about 2,500 cards or so, if my math is correct. But anyway, um, so this is the booster packs. This is a game as well. So there are some game cards in it versus just player cards. But the car game cards feature players. So I always list them as a card of that player. And they do sell. But very fun to open. Rookies are tough to pull. There's some neat foils. Um, this year has some cool Swirlorama inserts that I like. And uh, it's just a great way to... Um, Get a good supply of different players. There's tons of um, cards of players in here that you don't see in other sets because the uh, checklist is a lot bigger, which helps. Um, there's certain players that people want cards of and can't get. So, um, so I'm excited to rip this as well. And I will make a video, of course, ripping a couple of boxes so you can see what it looks like. 
But that's it for this mail day. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you again.